Right, one of the jobs to do today is a um, ZTEC engine, what's going turbocharged, uh, and the guy wants to fit Woosner pistons, which are here. Um, what's wrong with the lights in this place? I've got a disco going on. Unbelievable. Ugh. Um, yeah, so that's the piston. I've measured it, I've worked the clearances out. Um, and there is, it was going to be a rebore, um, but there is only sort of seven thou to come out of the, the engine. So um, it'd be quicker if I just hit it with the owner. Uh, it's hard work, but yeah, I'll, um, I'll start, to, start to hone that. First thing to do is to set the depths on the honer to make sure it hits the bottom of the board. It needs to go a little bit deeper than that. Um, so you do that off this thumb screw here. This, because of the pivot, this just, Right, um, monitors how deep it goes so if we wind that down then it just hits that to stop it going any further so we can make sure we get the bottom of the ball So, <laughs> that took a bit of getting out. That's uh, between seven and a half and eight thousand. We moved out the ball with the, the honer. It's bloody hot out there as well today. So, it's better than going to the gym, I guess. Um, it's down to the correct piston to bore clearance on the bore gauge. And then the last thing that I do is just feel what the piston feels like inside the bore. Make sure it feels like it's got about the right clearance. Your fairness, that feels it's a bit tired. I'll just give the pourer a brush out. That's it, so the last thing that I always just double check uh, once I've finished is um, just check that the, the bore gauge and everything is reading correctly still um, on its stand, which is there. So I'll just pop that back in there, make sure the piston to bore clearance is still exactly how I set it to. 46 and a half, 46 and a half. Yeah, that's on zero.
and then also just measure the piston just to double check it all the pistons but yeah it's all good all exactly where it should be one more quick check just in multiple parts of the board just to make sure in fact there we go it's a good job we checked I need to strip a bit more out of that one there Yeah, just a bit out of that one there. Number three, number, number two actually. Awesome, so I've just uh, blipped one a bit more out of that number two cylinder uh, and then turn the block upside down just to let it, um, let the honing oil drain out of it. Uh, and the other thing I'll do is I will just quickly with no pressure on the home just run up the other three just because where i've put the bore gauge down it it just drags a couple of little lines um in the bore from where it's a, a metal end there um and i just don't like to see that once the customer collects it uh, i'd rather i'd rather just blip it again just to make sure but yeah that's another one done this is uh brad's renault engine which i'm just doing the cam timing on um on the exhaust uh, it runs a dephaser here which moves the cam timing slightly when it's running so I um, don't think I'm really going to touch that so much just keep it on the standard Renault settings um, but yeah the engine's uh, got to go back in his car ready for his next race so I'm going to do that I'll try and get the flywheel on for him I'll get the rocker cover on uh, and then this is his spare dephaser but I'm going to take that apart and see if I can modify that um, to get the cam timing set better. Then this is Sam's waiting for the new gearbox and diff to come back. And then we can put that all back together for him. And then that's mine sat on the platforms ready to change the settings over to an oval setup because um, we're doing the Mallory, Mallory oval at the weekend um, if all goes according to plan. So we've got to change a few things around on that. Um, I want to just do like a health check on the engine. Uh, but yeah, it's still looking quite tidy in there. Nothing seems to be leaking or moved. Sam's gone over it a couple of times. He's had to play around with the, um, the anti-roll bar to feed that off a little bit, but he's done all that. We've got to clean the paint off the tyre from a bit of contact. Sort the toolbox out and whatnot. And then that's good to go. So from all the vlogs that I've done so far and vlog number one, um, we've got some really big news to be honest today. Um, I've always complained that I've run out of space. Um, and the work just keeps coming in and stacking up. We get loads done, but just as much comes back in and I keep stretching the deadlines for people and they seem to be happy to wait, most of the majority of people. So I'll show you the big news. Draining. Draining. So this is the big news. It's not just a key, a key to our new workshop. Into a rotten door key to a rotten door so this is it we're expanding it's a bit of a dump at the moment but this has been going on for the past four months trying to buy this and lots of hassle with solicitors and rubbish banks and then good banks and everything else um, so we got the keys to it yesterday um, Sam was in here yesterday just starting to tidy up. So this is it. 
Grey Central Developments, second unit. We're not getting rid of our other unit, we're keeping that. This is just so we can expand and neaten up and have a bit more space. And when I die, Sam's got somebody to sell to buy a Lamborghini. <laughs> so there's a mouse hole down there. That's where the mice come in and out, these little holes. So they've got to go. So the plan is, there's going to be a rolling road down here somewhere. Um, we're changing all that's all going. There's going to be um, a shop to about here um, with some kind of store and racking here. Um, and then the engine dyno will go around here. And then this what is. And then the engine build room off it. And then the machine shop in the middle. We're going to have a mezzanine up here for the gas flowing room. Um, and the diagnostic room for like the cam machine and the spring machine and the super flow and all that. Uh, and then we should have a bit more space for some more machines. At the back here, we're going to open this up and have all the cleaning and the super flow facility here through here. But this is all just weeds at the moment, so we've got to sort that. Um, and then where that ladder thing is, where Sam is, we're going to have the rolling road there and then a flat patch for setting the race cars up. Ladder. Whatever it is. Thingy that goes up and down. So we're going to be selling nuts and bolts and brake cleaner and gaskets and bearings and cams and valves and everything else in the shop. So yeah, this should all be good. Watch this space. He's lost his hair. He hasn't combed his hair. He's lost his hair. No comb. Looks like a bald egg. If anybody wants to, um, uh, if anybody wants to supply stuff that, <laughs> if there's any suppliers out there that want to put stuff in the shop, please get in touch. Desperate for tradespeople now to help with the renovation project. We need a good electric supplier for LED lights and walls and everything else. So. If you want to sponsor us or help us out, please get in touch. Please get in touch. Down there, look. Look at the water coming from it.